Hello and welcome to this video, the second of the sort of vlogmasy video diaries, which of course I'm starting when the washing machine is going. Uh, you'll see this brown jumper quite a bit toward the end of the video because I'm not really going anywhere so I'm just wearing the same thing. But there we go. This one is going from the 13th to the 23rd of December. We get up to lots of bits and bobs. There is a bit of Covid chat just to warn you because of course there is. Yeah, this is what the latter part of December has had in store for me, Pete and Mr Jeff. Look at the camera, Jeff. No, no, he's camera shy today. Go back in time slightly to the 13th or whenever I started this video. Well look at this, I'm in a very different place. So I've actually come back to my office for all of like an hour and a half hour because I had some student cards to store, sort out. And I can't do that at home because all the student cards are in the security office, blah 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 blah. So I thought I would give you a sneak peek. I'm hoping that when I'm filming you can't see my workplace. So this is the view I have outside of the window. It's not the most exciting. But it'll do. Technically this is not my office. Just before the pandemic I got relocated here so they could move some other people into my office to then paint a different building, something like that. Pretty soon after we all got shipped out home and now I'm homeless. I technically don't have an office anymore, but I obviously have access to this and this has all my stuff in it still. Although the um, pictures that I had on my computer, I'm taking them home with me today because I just don't trust that they're not going to get lost and, and I want them. So they're coming home with me today along with a pair of fingerless gloves that I had in my drawer just in case things happen. Yeah, I now need to take all of these envelopes over here that I can't show you because obviously they've got people's addresses on them but down to the post room and then I can head home. It's so incredibly quiet. There's no way in a normal, normal world I would be able to vlog in my office. But there we go, right. I now need to go take those to the post room post something else, something personal, well, it's a birthday card for someone but it's not work so I can't use the post room, go on the bus, go to Sainsbury's and then we might be able to have some lunch. But anyway that's been my exciting trip for Wednesday the 15th of December or are we on the 15th? We are Wednesday the 15th of December so how much fun. Oh, it's Thursday the... Thank you, Jeff. 16th of December. I haven't been particularly good at updating this time for this video diary blog vlog thingy me bob. Um, so one thing I haven't updated you on is that they finished decorating the flat. Um, so everywhere is now white. The best place to probably see this is the kitchen because it was green. So if you saw Wednesday's video, the first one of these sort of vlog messy things, you will have seen me in the kitchen talking about the hole in the roof and it was green. So that's the easiest way of showing the difference. We have one more day left at work. Just tomorrow to do, Jeff, and then I'm off for two weeks. So I'm back on the 4th of January, which I can't wait for. It's a break that I very much need but I'll probably end up talking to you about that tomorrow. The whole situation with Omicron and that COVID variant is a bit up in the air. The government obviously, for obvious reasons, are not providing very much in way of telling people what to do. We're going ahead with the plans that we have and hoping that we don't get ill, but we did buy some slightly fancier food that we've kept in our freezer just on the off chance and I've decided that because we prepared it won't happen that if we do end up catching the dreaded sea we at least have some nice food for Christmas day if we are isolating here instead of going to see family so we're prepared as much as we can be but we're hopeful that it won't be needed or happening basically 
but I'll talk to you more about plans and stuff in the next few days because obviously we'll be doing them. The other thing I was going to mention is I have a poorly foot. So as you know I went to campus yesterday, I went up to, my bus drops me off at Sainsbury's, I bought myself some ibuprofen gel to slather on my foot which seems to be helping and it does seem to mean that I can walk on it without walking like a pillock. Um, so that's good but not great and <laughs> it's kind of painful and I don't really know what I've done and also while I was there I bought the Christmas TV guide because I can basically um, and normally in my family home we'd have this and I'd have to just make a note of things I wanted to watch but this year I've highlighted, although I haven't actually made it all the way through the book yet, so shush, but that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm having a jolly good time doing so and finding things to watch, although I'm not finding a lot, but there's enough. As, as I've just said, we're hoping to be away for some of the Christmas period anyway, so we might not be in a place where we can actually watch the things that I'm writing down or highlighting even. Oh words, words are failing me. I'm now rambling but that is you pretty much up to date and I will try and be better at vlogging interesting things that's happening but mainly I've sat in this very old old logo endpoint hoodie and tried to smash out things on my work to-do list so that when I come back in the new year, I am clear of emails and clear of things to do. Which is not going to happen because there's a couple of big jobs still on my to-do list that are just sort of ongoing. But I'm going to be close and that makes me very happy. It's that time on Friday the 17th of December. The computer is shut. And we can go down. Yeah, that's me now done until the 4th of January. I was gonna say February, that's a bit long. I meant January. So yeah, and me and Pete are actually now heading away again this weekend because that's what we do even though I mean, Covid is everywhere but hey ho, we're going with it. We're sticking with the plan. Um, so we again need to go and pack because why would we ever do that in advance? Um, but we have both done our COVID tests, we are both clear, so there we go. So the plan is to take Jeff, who I don't know if you can see is on the sofa behind me over there. Um, so he's going up to my parents and then we're heading up to Sheffield because it's the Endpoint Christmas party on Saturday. And if you've seen Pete's video on his channel, which I'll link up here, um, you'll know why we're going up and spending a bit longer than just Saturday night there. So yeah, that is our plan. So, a bit apprehensive because don't really want to get Covid for Christmas. But as I think I mentioned yesterday, we have got, you know, plan B, our plan B, like actual proper plan B, not I mean, government plan B sorted in case that does happen but touch wood and because we've planned it won't but yes yeah, a little apprehensive because of that but should be good also a little apprehensive because you know new people but gotta do it gotta do it right i really need to go and pack so catch you probably when we're up in sheffield so it's saturday the 18th of december and we are in our travel lodge room which i'm not going to bother showing you because if you've seen any of my other UK trip videos, it's pretty much the same as every other brand of hotel. Although I do think it could use a little bit of TLC. So if you want to see any of that, I'll link the playlist up there. Peruse at your heart's content. There is also another video on Sheffield in there, as I'm not entirely sure what we're doing today because I've left this down to Pete to plan. So that will show you a bit more of the green spaces of Sheffield. Pete's here, he's ready now for our, there's a little mini Christmas market. Sure is, if you'd like Oh, bonus. Um, see ya. Whoa. 
wander through town, we may have made a purchase of Hotel Chocolat already. Because you know how much we love the velvetizer. So yes. Welcome. This is probably going to be better at night, but there you go. That's got Merry Christmas going around here, isn't it? That's cool. yeah. I'm doing something risky and following Pete's sense of direction. Yes, I've got wrong, I've gone wrong already. Yeah. <laughs> um, it might be just down the right, it might be. I can't say what we're coming to look at, but we're following okay. Pete's sense of direction. <laughs> Um, which is always a bit risky. I don't think I've ever seen it so foggy. I'm not foggy as well. That's true. How many times have you yawned? That makes me foggy. You've yawned as well. Not as many times as you and I'm not driving. Exactly, it's tiring. Yeah, look at it. It's just a sheet of grey. So the whole reason we're in Sheffield is for the Endpoint Christmas party, which is tonight. Still Saturday, by the way. So me and him over there with his belly hanging out. Yes. Uh, we've just done our COVID tests, or we did them a while ago, you know, the half hour wait and all of that. We are negative, is that the right word? I get it confused. Yes. We're negative. Negative is good, positive is bad. Of course. Uh, so we were negative, so we are good to go. Um, so now I need to attempt to get myself ready. Pete's had to go and get an iron. Yeah, we've got everyone to do one, so we've got 20 odd tests back, all negative. Well, one was positive actually, so that's good. But he's not going. He's not going. He knew beforehand though, so he didn't even come up to Sheffield. Time to try and make myself look reasonably presentable which won't happen but we'll give it our best shot so there we go well, i don't know what pete's doing if this is as good as it's gonna get you look great so there we go pete's in a shirt don't know what you can see <laughs> there you go you get the standard camera picture of us both there you go that's us you can't really see us because of the it's lighting. A bit dark, isn't it? Yeah. But there we go. We are endpoint Christmas party ready. I don't know if that actually made any difference to the lighting of this. But it's the morning after, the night before. Me and Pete, I was about to call you Jeff then. <laughs> I really was about to call you Jeff, that's why I went me and Pete. <laughs> You're missing Jeff. Well, we literally just chowed down on some Greg's because we were hungry. And. And I head off home. What do you think? As soon as it's your company's Christmas party. Yeah, it was good. Nice and safe. I think it was good. Well, as safe as it can be. Yep. <clears throat> um, but no, it was a really good night. Yeah, it was a really good night. Well, I think everyone enjoyed themselves and lots of drinks, lots of lots of food. Someone bought tequila. <laughs> tequila knocked a few people out, I think. <laughs> so we've got a yum yum to eat, and then back to London. Jeff's, we're not picking Jeff up today, he's he's getting his own lift home, so, so yeah, you'll see him tomorrow, probably. Right, so we're obviously back home, it's now Monday the 20th, I am worn out because I've just lugged a whole heap of shopping back from Sainsbury's because I'm a wonderful girlfriend who did it while pizza at a funeral, so I thought We'd give you a little Sainsbury's grocery haul just for the fun of it because isn't that what people on YouTube do? So, six free range eggs. As you know, we are in Sheffield. There is a small part of my brain that thinks we might catch COVID between now and Christmas. So, we have dinner in the starter. So, I bought us a pudding. So, we have a triple chocolate brookie pudding. Voila, which uh, keep refrigerated. And the day is the 11th of January, so we'll keep refrigerated. And to go with that, some ice cream. What else have we got? Milk, wanted two pints. No, wanted one pint. They only had 
the big, big boys. That's like the only dew point. Um, mayonnaise. It's really fun, this. Um, some juice. Pete likes the fancy stuff. Some Elvis juice because you might be taking a, in a little tipple. I've got no space to work with. Uh, of course, some natural flow tests because, well, you know why. You know why. You only have one left anyway. Pringles because it's not Christmas if you don't eat a Pringle some sponges because I had to use a really random cloth last time because we ran out of sponges. Bread, always wholemeal, always thick. Some bacon. The thing I didn't need but they were a pound and I said to Pete I'd buy some snacks. So we have some orange fingers and some fabulous fingers, whatever fabulous fingers are. And to balance it out, some cereal bars. Because we eat them with our lunch. Uh, oh, and last but not least, some dark chocolate chips. Because I might make some cookies at some point while I'm off. Ta da! Right, now I'm going to make myself some lunch because I'm not eating and it's about one o'clock and I'm starving. Um, and I'm going to watch the RuPaul Drag Race final, which I am about three months late for now, but looking forward to it nonetheless. So I'm finding because I'm doing this sort of like video diary thing, I'm not actually picking the camera up as much as I would if I was doing like a normal, a normal vlog in, in quotes or whatever. Um, so there's a few things that I've not actually shared with you. The main thing, Jeff's home. Hey Jeff! Yeah, so my parents brought him back yesterday and we also did a present exchange, so that's what that box is there. Because all being well, me and Pete will be at his parents for Christmas Day and then heading to mine on Boxing Day. So we needed to exchange gifts so that they had the presents from me for Christmas Day and vice versa. Although when we go on Boxing Day, fingers crossed, we're doing like a little mini Christmas where we've all got like two gifts each or something. Today, which is the, come on phone, 21st of December. So I think it's Tuesday already. I've lost track of days and it's only like my second proper day of holiday. But Tuesday the 21st, um, I have done very little. Basically, I'm going for a haircut in a moment. I've basically just been waiting around for that all day. So I've been quite lazy, maybe not lazy, I did 40 minutes on the ring fit this morning, Fred a bit, I've cuddled Jeff a lot, but I feel like if I had my hair cut earlier in the morning I might have actually done some more things today, but essentially I've just been waiting around for this. Uh, will I show you it later? Maybe, if I remember, if not it'll be tomorrow, but it won't look very different, it will just be shorter, because I'm only going for a dry cut. Although, saying that, it's been an awfully long time since I had my hair cut. I think I vlogged the last time, so I'll link that video up here. But that was like October last year, so it's been over a year since I've had my hair cut, which I know is bad. But because my hair doesn't really have a style, I forget, and then I go, oh, it's been like a year, I better go and get that done now. Um, so that's that's what I'm doing today. I'm actually quite happy to get it cut because it's getting on my nerves. It's a bit too long now, so it just sort of sees each other and knots up. Um, and it's just getting on my nerves. Um, so on Sunday, me and Pete watched Jungle Cruise, which I liked all the nods to the ride, but as a person with a snake phobia, too many snakes. They come out of his face. Too many snakes tonight we're gonna watch that sorry i've just made you go really wonky uh, we're gonna watch that is it shang chi the legend of the ten rings or whatever it is it's a film that it's a marvel film i think i don't really know but both of us thought it sounded all right when we were gonna go to the cinema for our 
recreate our first date we were hoping to go and see that but we just missed it and again I'll link that video up here if you haven't seen it but it's now on Disney Plus so we're gonna watch that tonight I would normally do Christmas films this week you know get all festive and stuff but I'm not feeling festive at all I think after the complete and utter disappointment of last year and then all the news that's coming out at the moment I'm just sort of holding back on the festivities until we actually know what's going on until basically Christmas Day um, because then we know we can what we're doing whether whether the plan has gone correctly or whether it hasn't and we can work with it either way I better go and get my shoes and coat on because <laughs> there's no point me being late for the appointment that I've been waiting for all day so we have just been for our booster jabs. That was the speediest thing, like jab, I think I have ever had in my entire life. With all these jabs you've had in your life? I've had quite a few, <laughs> what with travel jabs and yeah, yeah, yeah. cervical jabs, MMR jabs, meningitis jabs. I've had quite a lot of them. <laughs> but that one was by far the quickest. We are Moderna again. That's us again. But literally walked in, he was ready to stick it in my arm before I'd even got the coat off. Yeah, literally one minute in and out. How's that? If that? I mean, it took longer to take my coat and the sleeve of my jumper off than it did for them to do all of the stuff. Didn't ask any questions this time. No, you just said it's all the same size, side effects as last time. You don't need to wait because you didn't have, you obviously didn't have any problems last time, so just go. <laughs> in and out. Right, they asked me if I was allergic to anything and if I'd had any symptoms, but that was it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I prefer it that way, I guess. Yeah, 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 it's fine. I'm quite happy not to sit in the cold in the garage somewhere, because it's not really made for vaccines, the place that we went to. Certainly not as slick as the one we went to for the first two jumps. And that one is very makeshift. But yeah, it's good. But still slick, slick operation. A lot, a lot closer to us as well. It is. The arm is already starting to hurt though, so we'll see what happens. We've also gone and picked Jeff up some flea and worming stuff, so all the health today, all the health. Um, oh, and health, health for Nobby as well. <laughs> looks, like, looks like Nobby's getting some fuel as well. Has this become a Christmas tradition in the Thompson Stevenson household? Picks and blankets, mac and cheese. Hello, it's now the 23rd of December. It's of course very grey outside, so I'm using my phone torch to try and light this clip a little bit because I don't want to move to go and turn the light on. Not that that'll make much of a difference. Uh, just thought I'd hop on this morning just to let you know how the jab side effects are going. Last night was a tricky one. As I said to you, I pretty much felt my arm hurt straight away. That then has travelled around, certainly my shoulders and neck and stuff like that. Lower back's a bit sore as well, so very achy. But also I got into bed and I was just really shivery. That I had to put extra layers on just to try and stop myself being so tense because it wasn't helping the bits that were aching. And now I don't know whether that's because our bedroom is quite cold at the moment or whether that's part of the jab side effects but then I did wake up at like half three and then was really warm so I had to take off some of those layers but yeah it's fine I've taken some paracetamol which seems to have helped I don't have any plans for today anyway because I knew I was getting the jab so I didn't want to do anything too strenuous in case I wasn't feeling great and I think I'm I'm on the mend now anyway. It's, that's the joys of the jab. I'm actually going to end this video now, here, uh, because I decided to put my camera down over Christmas um, and just, you know, spend it with family and stuff. So this is going to be me now until probably about the 29th of December when we're back from all of our trips around. Um, so we're spending a couple of nights with Pete's family um, so we were with them on Christmas Day and then on Boxing Day we head over to mine so as I say we've got a couple of nights with each, each family 
which will be nice. Um, that is assuming that the lateral flow test tomorrow, Christmas Eve, comes back negative, which neither me nor Pete are feeling any symptoms other than, you know, jab symptoms, so it should be fine. So yeah, I hope you've had a great Christmas, um, and I will now see you probably, well, I'll see you in the new year now after this video's gone out, so if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you fancy it, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm like 10 off being on 100 subscribers, which I know is tiny in YouTube grand scheme things, but it's quite a milestone for me. So if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I'd love to get to 100 by the end of the year. Probably not possible, but still trying. Um, and anyway, I will see you in the new year for the next video. Bye.